Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today I'm with Steve Ledger. Good to see you. Thank you. And we're going to be hunting big cats. Steve, what did you bring today? 1966 Buick Wildcat Convertible Grand Sport. With the engine size? 425. <laughs> Steve, step right alongside me and we'll take a look at the 1966 Wild Cat. Now, Steve, with this one, why did you need and want the 1966 Buick? Well, I uh, wanted to complete my collection of Grand Sports, and this was the only Wildcat Grand Sport convertible year that was built by Buick. This one is spectacular. Now, the color on this, it looks yellow, but what is the actual color called? Uh, Buick called it cream. Cream. Big wildcat hood ornament, unmistakable, no question on the Grand Sport. Now, how long have you had this one? About 20 years. Wow, so it's a member of the family. Oh, yes. So you've had this car for 20 years. Step right alongside, we'll take a look at the overall side shot of the car. You've had this car for 20 years. What's the, what's the uh, reaction? Let me just step back for just a moment. Let me let people meditate on that for a second. <laughs> that is a big cat. What's the reaction when you're driving this one? Oh, I get a lot of thumbs up and people wave and stare and, and steer over towards me and I have to <laughs> move off the road. Drive defensively? <laughs> Drive defensively, That's good point. great stuff. Well, this is, uh, I love all of the cues on this car and I want to show some of those. We have the wonderful side piece here that almost has the fake looking ventilation for the engine the beautiful stripe now is this this car is perfect what did you restore this car or what uh what was the condition of this car originally no this is the original condition this is the this is the way i bought it and all i've done is maintain it well you've done a great job maintaining and the red lines featuring the red through here looks spectacular now did I see sport mirrors and I'm gonna show the other mirror okay did the other mirror come with this one yes because I noticed the Buick logo on that one all the venting glass that I didn't see on the other one and the windshield wipers go opposite each other yeah obviously we've got the convertible look at that quarter So even Buick people don't see the GS too often. No, 242 was the number that I've, I've been told in my research was all they made. How many do you think, first of all, have you ever seen another one? Yes. Like just one or several? No, I've seen, I've seen a, a dark blue one, I've seen a red one, I've seen a white one. So, so three, to the popular color. three in 20 years. Yes. This is a treat. This car is the first time this one's been videoed. Yes. So a nice exclusive for my car story. When we do start it, I'm going to ask you to step on the brakes at that time because I want to see these tail lights light up. It's going to okay. be great. Let's we've got them some treats, not yeah. some treats. Some treat time. We've got we've got some trunk treat time. <laughs> and that is some good stuff. So let me just show that. And let's start with, this was under the back seat, right? Yes. And this is the build sheet for the car. Yes. We've got the color sheet for the car. I'm going to take my time with some of these. Here's the Wildcat tuned for super action. I'll take my time so you can pause accordingly. You ever want to know about your 66 Wildcat and its specifications? This video will be the answer. Now, Steve, do you pick this stuff up at swap meets or Buick conventions, or how did you 
and, and, and I'll be specific for the viewers, I went through and handpicked some of the things. There was more than this. I love the advertisements. The year you discovered the tuned car. So we'll just go through get the And the interesting thing too is I know on this one, the year you discovered the tune car, this one kind of folds open. I'm very careful with these. There's that same young lady again. And then it opens this way to see this. The luggage rack. Now you must have the custom wheels because I see they're featuring it here. Yes. What do they call those wheels? Is it uh, chrome wheels because the customers demand it? And look at this. All of the models with all of the cars. Now, I won't go through all of the details. But I'll try to give you a chance to get a snapshot of each little section. So if you're interested in that or there's another car that you see you have, you can pause and read that. The Sport Wagon. Just great. Just great. There, and there, and there. Let me show the back. I guess women were big in '66. Yeah, they're still they're they're still pretty big now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. My wife right now would be like Lou. Okay, so now we've got the Buick Special versus the Wildcat and the special options. Specially tuned. The 66 Deluxe specifications. The Skylark. The Skylark GS. The Wagon. The LeSabre. This. I won't go through all of those. And there's the Wildcat that we took our time with. And you might be saying, Lou, what's behind it? I'll take the moment. Should be the Show the Electra for elegance. And the Rev. The 66 Rev. And then. There we go. We've seen her now. Okay, so we're not going to go through every single one, but I do want to show you here's the colors. Here's the color of this one. So I'm going to move these over here as we've gone through them. The 66 Quadrajet Carburetor. All of the information there. Here's the colors as well, as you see there. Exterior colors, etc. There's our cream again, so I'm going to put that there. Kind of interesting advertising. This car is tuned. Let's see what that means. I'll let you pause so you can read that. The Riviera GS N66 oh, Some details there The Electra I'm sharing this and taking my time with it because number one, you just don't see it. 
So when you get the chance, we're going to take that opportunity to take our time. The Skylark GS. Station wagon, a little saber, our special, a wagon, The photographs and just two more because we have them I'm actually saving the best for last <laughs> that's great there's our young lady again clearly featured in all the magazines all of the outfits so time period correct Riviera GS. I don't know how they got it on that rock, but that's cool that they did. That was when advertising was advertising. You had to come up with some creativity. That was back when helicopters were, were kind of new. We dropped them. We dropped the car off on the rocks. The car off on the rock. Look at that. Our engine options. The Wildcat. Your seats with the shotgun. <laughs> Wildcat. Our Buick GS. There it is. Our Wildcat Grand Sport. Our seating options, the Saver convertible, the Electra Dash, more cars on rocks, the Skylar Sport Coupe, and this one, wagon, nicely seated on grass. fishing pole, our open deck wagon, a fire dog, that's great stuff with the special on the door right there. Lovely day for a picnic. Here's our young lady. And this is 29 reasons going for Buick. You don't think about it that they had that many different choices. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. And the piece de resistance. Steve, tell me why this one's special. Well, they didn't make very many of those, and uh, it only covers the Riviera, Wildcat, and Skylark Grand Sports, and they felt that that, that was their, you know, their hot car. This is the pinnacle. Yes, this was the, this was the performance-minded folks got to got this the one. Grand Sport. Now, where do you find a piece like this? Just eBay, or...? No, well, I don't know. Nowadays, you might. I've had a lot of this literature for 20 years because I started to buy it when uh, at swap meets and at the Buick Nationals and whatnot when uh, I first got the car. And the interesting thing with this, too, is that I can feel the thickness difference in these pages. They're almost a little more cardboard-like. Those 
those people who don't like all the details, you just push forward and that'll be fine. That's a cool picture. That time frame. Very, very cool. And there they are, all three. I'm just going to put them in the sun a little bit. And there's your one at a time. There's your Riviera information. A lot of people pause on that. There's your Wildcat stats. Skylark. Just like that. That was a trunk and treat. All right, let's shut that. Okay. Let's go right to the interior. You know, one of the things on this car, too, is this hard body line right there that just comes all the way through the car that you feel. So let's show. The door interior, this nice aluminum piece. I like that Wildcat emblem. Power handle for this window. We got the 66 view up there. Just showing the interior. A bench seat with a bucket feel. Even the back seat has these wonderful Wildcat logos. Just like that. The power rear seats. The stitching. The power here. This is like an overall shot of the dash. Like so. That emblem is important. Even. The view is going on right there. AM FM. Perfect. Perfect. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? We'll keep that open because we're going to get in there and start it, but thanks. When the sun came out, Steve, literally as we opened the hood behind the clouds. It has air conditioning. Now does this car with this engine, does this get up and go? Oh, yes. Really? Yes, this has some good performance. A lot of weight. It's a big car. Does it stop well? But it, it goes. How does it stop? It has drum brakes all okay, the way around. All right, so, so we got to so take our time when we stop. You anticipate. All right. So if you're going to get going, it's really only on the highway. You don't want to you don't want to put yourself in harm's way. That's for sure. Steve, these exhaust manifolds are amazing. Now you worked on those to get those that clean. Yes, yes, I uh, I worked on those to get the rust off of them, make them look make them look good.
Just a wonderful, wonderful car. Such a treat to see this one. All right, let's fire it up. We'll let it idle, and then we'll give it a... Uh, when I go back there, we'll step on the brakes for a moment just to see what that looks like. That is quiet. That's amazingly quiet, isn't it? Yes. Wow. Steve, can you step on the brakes for just a second? Perfect. All right, we can let off the brakes. Let me just get the exhaust note at idle. Go ahead, give me a rev. Oh, I like that even better. One more rev for me. Very powerful sounding. Let's uh, shut the hood and can we take the top down just so I can give people a look at what the... Uh... Yeah, well, we'll keep it running. Did you need the... You need the... Uh, it running to turn the top... Oh, okay. All right, go ahead. Shut it off. May I shut the hood? Yes. Okay, thanks. There we go. Just two clips. Yep, I can help you with the boot. And for the driver as well, you have the Wildcat on the inside. Okay, we got that boot pushed up. Are you ready? I'm ready. Nice. Come on out. Let's shut that door for a moment. Please. <laughs> uh, this has got to be a wonderful cruiser. <laughs> the sound. The look. Magnificent. Just, it's just magnificent. Steve, if people like what they see, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell. Steve, what a treat to come out and see your car. So much fun to be with you. Thanks for being on My Car Story. Thank you for, for finding it good enough to warrant your story. I, I'm very proud of it. It's my pleasure. Thank you.